I'm Erin Hines for Elliott Wave TV and I'm speaking with Chuck Thompson, Senior Analyst at the Socionomics Institute. Chuck, in the June 2016 issue of The Socionomist, you cover a mix of negative and positive social expressions across the U.S. Why the mix? In the April issue of The Socionomist, Alan Hall said that during a major transition point in social mood, social expressions seem to be very turbulent concoctions. Even though we're seeing numerous and very obvious expressions of positive mood, we're also seeing some clear-cut and striking expressions of negative mood as well. And the bathroom rights of transgendered students in schools has become a national issue, with some states passing laws banning transgendered students from using the restroom of their choice. But last month, the Obama administration told states that they must let students choose. Do you think that this, that social mood is playing a role in the issue? Yes, uh, the gains made by the transgender community reflect the desire to include, which is driven by positive social mood. Robert Prechter noted that inclusive behavior could show up in every aspect of society. As a result, you may see it in cultural, moral, racial, and religious settings. It may also appear at the national as well as the regional level, and it may show up in matters ranging from economic to social, and from financial to political. All right, uh, let's move to a hazy topic, legalizing marijuana. What are we seeing now with this trend and why? Negative mood drives the push for legalization of marijuana, but it hasn't become strong enough to remove the ban on pot at the federal level. However, there have been numerous legalization successes at the state level. Recently, Ohio legalized medical marijuana, and in this year's elections, four states will vote on medical marijuana initiatives. Six states will decide whether or not to legalize recreational pot. We contrast these developments in the U.S. with those in Mexico, where there was a 15% increase in homicides related to drug-related crime in the first trimester of 2016. We note that if mood becomes negative enough, and violence becomes bad enough, we could see the removal of marijuana prohibition just as we saw the removal of alcohol prohibition under similar circumstances in the 1930s. If you're interested in learning more about these events and other social mood events, please visit the link below. Thanks for tuning in to Elliott Wave TV.